I was sitting in Carolyn's house outside of Birmingham in the UK, and I just finished buying my tickets to go back home to the States. So I've got one month left in, sorry, one week left in Europe. And I was thinking, well, what should I do? My one week left. So I figured I would look at the Birmingham airport, see what, what kind of direct flights they had. And um, it was a last minute thing, so there weren't many options, but they had a flight to Corfu in Greece. So here I am now in Corfu, Greece, just for a couple days. Uh, this should be my final adventure in Europe. They've got some like goats or something roasting right there. It looks really nice. I think they're just setting it up for tonight. We've got all these empty tables that nobody's eating at yet, so could be fun to come back here and have dinner, but I say that in all my videos and I never come back to those places. So we'll see where I end up tonight. There's a shipwreck. This bridge here is not only convenient because it connects to another part of the island, that's kind of a shortcut, but the planes fly right overhead to the airport. So it's a good spot to get right underneath the planes as they come in. too hot to do anything. It's like six or seven at night, but I'm sweating. Maybe tomorrow I'll get on a schedule where I sleep during the day and go out at night. Okay, there's still no other people here yet, but I really want to try some of this meat that they're grilling. So let's see if it's ready. I have to wait one more hour before the uh, festival here is gonna start. So there's gonna be some music and I wanna try that meat. I think in addition to the heat, that's really exhausting me. I also didn't sleep last night because uh, I woke up at two o'clock to get ready to catch my flight this morning. And I usually go to sleep around two o'clock instead of waking up at that time. So my sleep schedule is a bit messed up right now. Well, my phone's gonna die soon, but that's okay. I don't really have too much going on tonight because I'm exhausted. We're gonna go down there to that festival and I'm gonna try some of that rotisserie lamb that we saw. And then I'll probably try to call it a night early, but you know how things go. Um, everything's unplanned and sometimes I might stay out later but as I said the phone's gonna die so if anything else happens tonight you might miss it but I'll try to try to show you the food at least I have to figure this out because everything is in Greek and the guy cutting the meat I went up to the butcher and I was trying to get the meat and he said no no go over this way so I don't know what I'm doing right now okay see that was confusing so I, I went through two different lines so this one I went and got beer and sausage and this is the lamb right here. All right, so there's some good looking lamb. And there's the sausage. Yamas. I don't think I had any say in what part of the lamb I got, but uh, it looks pretty good. It looks like some good skin and maybe it's all, I think I think the organs were separate. So this is, this is good, like good meaty portions. It should be pretty tasty. Hey, that's my martini. What are you doing? I didn't expect you to actually put your face in there. Good morning. I slept terribly last night. The air conditioner in my room doesn't work very well, so my room was hot. Just woke up every 30 minutes covered in sweat all night long. I'm gonna try going into town today, probably take the bus to avoid some of the heat on the long walk and uh, explore the city, try and get some good photos and then come back midday to soak in the pool and relax. Maybe go back out at night. just had an idea. I should try to rent a moped. I think that would be a good way to see Corfu. I don't know if it's possible yet. I haven't really looked, but that would be fun to rent one for two days. And I could get to and from the hotel, go explore some of the coastline. So hopefully I can make that work.
So I found a place that'll rent me a scooter, but the prices are pretty steep because they charge it based on business day use, not 24 hours at a time. So if I rented the scooter today, it's already one in the afternoon, but they charge me a full day rate. So it's not worth it to do that today. So I'll try it again tomorrow. The old town here is actually a lot bigger than I expected, considering the size of the island. I'm just exploring randomly down different alleys and streets. Kumquat is a very popular fruit here in Corfu. You see it in like alcohol, ice cream. Ice cream is always good on a hot day. I walked by the sport earlier today and I said, nah, it's too hot to go exploring there. And I decided to come back at the hottest point in the day. I don't know why I did that. I'm dying, but I made it to the top. It's officially too hot. I'm done exploring this fortress. I'm gonna go jump in the water somewhere. Problem is, you know, traveling by yourself, if you wanna go in the water, somebody's gotta watch all your stuff, right? So I've gotta find a place that looks safe to leave my bag for a minute or two while I'm in the water. All right, we're in business. We've got ourselves a moped now, a scooter. So uh, we're gonna cruise along the coastline, just go up north, check out some nice beaches, hop in the water. And uh, I'm just renting this for one day, so we'll see how much I can get done. I told myself I wasn't gonna walk today because yesterday I got some heat stroke or something from all that walking in the sun, but here I am exploring again. I just can't help it. For the record, that's Albania over there across the water. We're on the uh, northeastern tip of Greece right now. We're close enough to Albania that my phone is trying to get back on their phone network. I think I'm just trying to drive to the northernmost point of Corfu. Just go to a couple more beaches up there and then head back down south. I keep completely missing the roads that I'm supposed to take. I end up like 10 minutes past where I was supposed to turn. It's kind of hard to navigate these roads. I think it's because everything's a lot closer than I'm expecting. I'm expecting to go like 20 minutes, but it's only like five minutes away.
I'm supposed to go that way, but I haven't seen any other cars go down that way. So I don't know if I should park here or just take the scooter down there. <sighs> I guess I could take the scooter down there. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to come down this way. I haven't seen a single car or person for like a, a, a solid mile, which in this area, there should be a lot more people. There's supposed to be a beach down here, but the road's super rocky. I, feel, I turned the scooter into a dirt bike. Uh, we'll go a little bit further and then maybe turn back. Okay, so there are a couple people out here, but it's super private. Really nice beach. Okay, that's the last beach we're gonna go to, at least with the scooter, I think, because we've got a long hour and a half drive back. It's not that it's a far distance, but the scooter only goes, I think it maxes out about 30 miles per hour, so it's a, it's a slow drive back. Well, it's my final night in Corfu. Um, today was great taking the scooter around because uh, the day before that I tried to explore. It was, just, it was too hot to walk around much. Um, so that was definitely a good idea to rent a scooter to get around. The plane's coming in, so it might get loud. Um, but Corfu is awesome. I really enjoyed it here. So I would definitely want to come back. And uh, I, I think tomorrow, my flight's in the afternoon, but I'm just going to chill by the pool in the morning and then, um, I don't know, I don't want to get too sweaty before my flight, so I'm going to try and find some air-conditioned place to just hang out for the, for the first half of the day. I might not do anything too interesting. So right now the plan is just to um, get dinner, maybe a couple drinks, nothing crazy, and then just relax in the hotel. To be honest, uh, it's been great with the warm weather as far as swimming, going into the sea. That's been a lot of fun but I would actually consider coming back here in the off season when it's not too hot. Um, it might be easier, easier to explore without the crowds of people, easier to walk around without getting too sweaty. Um, maybe the prices are lower in the off season. So yeah, it's great to come here in the summer, but I think uh, spring or fall could be fun too. I mean, the main thing is it's very beautiful. So even if you're not getting in the water, it's still a very scenic place with all the islands and things like that, very beautiful. pretty much back at the airport now so I guess that means my adventure's over. I did most of my conclusion last night but I'll just end by saying that I really like Greece. I've been to a lot of countries in the last year but Greece definitely stands out as one of my top favorites and uh, there's still a lot more different cities I want to come to. So I've been to Corfu now and Athens and I think the country has a lot more to offer me so I'm hoping to come back for like three months at a time whenever I do come back here. Um, so it's definitely a very cool country.